Hello, Mystery Box. The practitioner here. Bachelor of Science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, magician, parapsychologist, technical agnostic, and Fortean skeptic. You're half right about the fact that inflation has caused a severe, um, that the money has become worth less. However, there's also another factor going into this and other resources, uh, gas, gold, copper, etc. One of the other fatal problems that we're dealing with, especially when it, uh, it now this is uh, talking about the more recent gas price, uh, price rises, uh, you know, have been also dealing with other issues. Number one of which, we have been dealing with a dwindling supply of gas. Secondly, we've also been dealing with recent uh, realizations about climate change. This puts on carbon credits anyway, which makes the uh, average burning of gas more expensive. Um, so there's a tax going on to it right there. The third thing is that we're dealing with the war on terror right now. And what with the fact that we have been, um, what with the war in Iraq and the war in Afghanistan, and the, uh, there would be some concerns in the Middle East about the fact that uh, the West might be uh, destroying other countries or what have you. So OPEC, you know, various Muslim countries and the like, might be hiking the price of oil up, you know, how much we spend for oil, thus making the price of gas even more expensive anyway, because that price gets, uh, gets passed on to the, um, you know, after manufacturing to the consumer. So there's multiple different factors going into oil and gas as well, and um, inflation is only one of uh, the many problems that we're facing right now. So uh, I agree with you that uh, the U.S. government has screwed this up, and to a certain extent Canada's government as well, but I think that we need to be looking at other factors as well in the process here. Just a thought. Toodles!